<laughs> what is going on everyone? Good morning, good night, I don't know, good afternoon. It is bright and early here today. It's about 6.45 in the morning. I'm currently driving around the property, I'm going by the Cubs old cage at the moment. But right now I'm just making sure all the cats are looking good. Everyone's still in their enclosures. Then I'm gonna open up the front and then we're gonna start the day. And also, if you do have an Instagram out there and you're interested in checking me out, or you just want some bonus big cat content, or maybe you want to get the clips in the videos maybe a little bit early, you can just follow me over on Instagram at BigCatDevin, or just click the link down below in the description, and you can check me out that way. Good morning. <laughs> and look at that. As soon as they get out of my car, I have a tiger greeting me. <laughs> All right, see you, Seth. And then Hoover just climbed up on his platform. And now he's going to take a rest after, of course, he... Gets a nice lick on there. Not sure why he licks that hole. <laughs> All right, I'll see you, Hoob. So right now, I just got a radio call to head over to Andy Bobcat. We're actually gonna be catching her and sedating her so that we can shave her down because she's got lots of mats on there and I'm sure it's not very comfortable. So I'm gonna try and get some shots of that, but let's go see what she's up to over there. We are currently heading over to Andy right now since she's already caught. And then we're gonna load her from the lockout into that squeeze cage and then over to the hospital. She, like I said, hasn't really been in there in over a year. So like I said, she's getting a checkup. And then she's a couple mats on her face, so they'll shave those off so she's feeling better. And it'll be a really quick, easy procedure. And then while Catherine and the other two interns are kind of loading Andy up into the hospital so they can get her weighed, I'm in the recovery area, and I'm going to be setting down some pee pads so that she can kind of just chill in here for, you know, the next day or so, uh, just to make sure we can observe her, make sure she looks all right, and then she'll be probably heading right back out to her enclosure. So right now I am heading over to Hoover. I just grabbed him some chicken thighs since he didn't want to take his meds this morning um, from the meds person this morning. So I'm going out to give him a try and hopefully he'll want to take it from me. All right, Mr. Hoover. Oh my goodness, a chop. Hello. How you doing today? You feeling all right? Hey, Hoover. Hey, bud. Hoover. What are you doing? Who? Look at this chicken. Oh, it's a very good chicken. It's a very good chicken. Ooh, that's not what I wanted to happen right there. Hey, who? He's thinking about it. Hey, who? Just gotta get him a little bit excited. Get him his morning walk out. Get his breakfast steps in. Oh, yeah, I like that. You didn't even eat it, who? What the heck? Come on. What was that about? Hi, who? How you doing? You're waiting at the side? Oh, bud, hold on. Just tilt your face. Oh, that's depressing. <laughs> that's depressing. He would have eaten that, too. You just tilted your head the wrong way, you would have bit the stick in half. I don't need that. Hey, who? Hey. Go on, who? Ah, who? Hey, look here. Hoover. Come on, bud. Man, that was such a close piece. He would have got his meds and everything. Well, hopefully he'll take it now. Or he will take it, I should say. Oh, man, don't drop it, Hoover, please. Please, please, please. Oh, yes. Look at that. Nice work, Hoove. Killing it. Mr. Hoover, let's see if we can get him excited. Come here, come on, Hoover. Hey. Oh. 
<laughs> He's like, nope, you got me to take my meds. That's all I want to do right now. Well, all right, Hoovy. I will see you later. Have a good day, all right? <laughs> So I did get Hoover to take his meds, which is always great. Um, he didn't want to eat that much food, so we'll definitely have to try him a little bit later and also tonight, that's for sure. He'll get fed again also for PM meds. But maybe we'll try him later though. If not though, I'm sure he'll want to eat later. But I am just happy he took his meds. And we moved Andy, it went super well as you saw. We kind of just loaded the squeeze cage up in there and opened the door as she walked in. And then we took her to the hospital, weighed her. She's a healthy weight, which is good. And now she's just waiting in the recovery area for Justin to get here so they can kind of shave down the little mats on her face. Um, give her kind of a little checkup since she hasn't been in there for about a year or so. But right now I did make my way over to Dez and since he didn't get fed this morning, I'm actually gonna feed him. So let's go see if Dez is hungry, but I'm sure he will be. All right, Mr. Dez. Are you ready for some treats? Got some nice chicken thighs for you. And then a nice ball of mush. Are you ready? Don't be biting that. Watch your face. sure if you could tell, but Des, in case some of you don't know, actually only has three legs, and he has also a serval. <laughs> He's very excited for his food, though. Is that some good chicken? <laughs> yeah? I don't think I've ever heard Des make those noises. Alright. I'll see you later, Des. Have a good morning. And like I said, I was totally not worried about Des eating or not. We just were holding off on feeding him this morning because we thought we were going to be catching him to uh, sedate him and take a look at him. But we're actually going to be doing Andy, like you've already seen, and then we're going to do Max a little bit later but that's why we didn't feed him this morning. But as you saw, he ate perfectly well. So he's a happy and full kitty, that's for sure. And just to give you a little heads up, today's video might be a tad shorter. I'm trying to record enough footage to make a video, but I'm actually heading out about halfway today, even though it is my coordinating day, because it is finals week and it is absolutely insane. So I'm also not sure when this is gonna be uploaded, but finals are insane at the moment. So if today's video is shorter, that would be why. But right now I am driving back up to food prep. I'm gonna log that Des ate his breakfast, gonna log that Hoover took his meds and ate some breakfast. And then since we're actually a little bit short on volunteers today, I'm gonna be cleaning. I'm over gonna be in the cougar section. So we're gonna see some cougars today. We'll see Aries, Artemis, Orion, Maya, and Ariza. So definitely stay tuned for that. And once I log everything, we'll start cleaning. Hi Aries. How are you? Are you purring? Stop making fun of me. I'm recording. <laughs> Stop. What should I do? Huh? What? <laughs> so right now I am out cleaning and you can see Aries is chilling right there. But as a lot of you know, we have a couple tools we bring with us right here as we're cleaning. And the tools we do bring along with us in this big bucket here is a nice bag where we can put any poop or old enrichment, which is right there. Maybe some old food that they left behind. And we have a nice big scrub brush that's sitting in a watered down bleach solution. And then some tongs as well that we can use to pick out anything from the inside of the cage right here, just so that we don't have to put our hands in there. And then that rests inside of a bleached down solution as well. And then for anything that we can't reach that's right on the side with those tongs, we have this really long scraper pole with us that has a right angle at the end. And then we can use that to kind of scrape over stuff to the side. And then we use those little tongs to pick it up and then pop in our bucket. just wash out for that tree and then after we scrub everything with that watered down bleach solution we just take the hose spray everything off fill their water bowl and then we open up that door that's sitting right there and then it's all fresh and clean for them to go in a 
question for all of you who watch my videos. You can put this hood down, I'll look less ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, but what's your favorite cat that we have here? Favorite species or favorite cat in general? Um, we got lots of cool cats here, you know, is it Cam or Boo? This may be one of your favorites. There's Cam and Boo over there. I think you can see them. But yeah, just let me know who your favorite is or what species and I can try to go see them in future videos. Hey, Orion. Hi, Orion. How you doing? He's like, you better clean my lock out and give me some fresh water. All right, bud, I'm doing that now, okay? Is that a nice sunny spot, Aries? Is that a good spot for you? I don't know if you can hear him, but he's totally purring right now. <laughs> but I've seen Aries, who we're looking at right now. Artemis is still to be found. I guess she's in one of her back dens at the moment. And just as I was expecting, we have Artemis chilling in one of the back little dens right here. How you doing, Miss Artemis? Is it cold today? She's like, yeah, I'm trying to rest in the sun right here. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later. Have a good morning. How are you doing today? Are you doing good? I just got over to Maya. Yeah, Rise is next up for today. But I'm gonna clean her lock out here. She's got a couple more, more bowls in the back, so I'll clean those up. And she has already gotten breakfast for today, for today, even though I'm sure she would like some more. So I have just finished up cleaning out her lockout right there. But I think she's more interested in me than going to get a nice drink. Isn't that right, Maya? Isn't that right? All right, I'm gonna continue on, go do her other bowls, and then we'll see what's going on. But I guess Mr. Manny does not want to come over. So we'll just have to see him from there is that we're not going to be seeing Riza today because she's just snoozing in her den. She's basically just upside down, belly up, <laughs> passed out. But it's too dark for the phone to pick her up in there. So here's some more of Maya. All right, I'll see you later, Maya. So I have just finished up cleaning and today was a very good poop day as we like to call it. All the cougars ended up pooping today. So that's always good, meaning healthy cats. But now I'm just gonna head up to food prep, log all that, and then we'll go see what's up for the rest of the day. So I am just driving over to Tut right now. He did not want to eat his breakfast this morning, so hopefully he'll want to eat it for me. All right, Mr. Tut, there's some turkey for you. Nice job, Tut. And as you just saw, Tut ate all of his breakfast, no problem. So that's always good news. But that is gonna wrap up today's coordinating video. I hope you guys all did enjoy. If you do enjoy these coordinating videos though, definitely hit that like button and show me that you like them. And if you're new here and you wanna join the family, definitely subscribe, join the family, and remember to click on that bell to turn on those post notifications just so you don't miss any videos. And I hope to see you all in the next one.